Find the rational function in the form shown below that passes through the points 1 comma 4 and 5 comma 8. So how can we do this? This particular rational function is also known as a reciprocal function. The parent function being 1 over x. Now this function has gone through some transformations. It's in the form a over x minus h plus k. h gives you the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is x is equal to h. k gives you the horizontal asymptote, which is y is equal to k. a tells you if the graph is going to stretch or shrink or if it's going to reflect over the x-axis. If the absolute value of a is greater than 1, then the graph is going to stretch. If the absolute value of a is between 0 and 1, if it's small, then it's going to shrink. And if a is negative, the graph is going to reflect across the x-axis. So those are some properties that relate to reciprocal functions in that form. Now for those of you who want to see a graph, here's how it's going to look like. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals h, whatever h is. In this case, h is 3, so that would be x equals 3. And we'll have a horizontal asymptote at y equals k. Let's extend this. And if A is positive, the graph is going to look like this, or something to that effect. If A is negative, it's going to reflect, and it's going to look like this. So those are some general properties of reciprocal functions, which is a type of rational function. But let's focus on the problem at hand. Our goal is to use these two points to solve for two variables, a and k. Once we get the values of a and k, we can plug them back into the formula, and that will be the rational function that fits these two points, or that passes through those two points. Now let's go ahead and finish this problem. In order to solve for two variables, a and k, we need two equations. And we're going to get the first equation by plugging in the first point. So we're going to replace x with 1 and y with 4. So we're going to have 4 is equal to a over 1 minus 3 plus k. Now let's simplify this expression. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now let's get rid of the fraction by multiplying everything in this equation by negative 2. So first we have negative 2 times 4. That's going to give us negative 8. Now, negative 2 times a over negative 2. The negative 2s will cancel, giving us just a. And then negative 2 times k is negative 2k. So we'll save that equation for now. Now, let's plug in the second point, 5, 8. So x is 5, y is 8. So we're going to have 8 is equal to a over 5 minus 3 plus k. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did before, but this time we're going to multiply everything by positive 2 instead of negative 2. So 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times a over 2, the 2's will cancel, giving us just a. And then finally, 2 times k is 2k. So here are the two equations that we have with the variables a and k. So we have a system of two linear equations, and we're going to solve by elimination, or the addition method. So let's write these two equations on top of each other. Let's go ahead and get rid of this.
Now let's add the two equations. Negative 16, I mean positive 16 plus negative 8 is positive 8. a plus a is 2a. 2k plus negative 2k, they will cancel to 0. So now we have 8 is equal to 2a. So let's divide both sides by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so we have a is equal to 4. So now that we have the value of a, we can calculate k. And we could use any one of these two equations to do so. Let's use the top equation, 16 is equal to a plus 2k. So let's replace a with 4 and let's solve for k. Subtracting both sides by 4, we get 16 minus 4 is 12, and 12 is equal to 2k if we bring it down. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that 12 divided by 2 is 6, so k is equal to 6. Now that we have the values of a and k, we could plug it into the formula to get the function that passes through these two points. So it's going to be y is equal to 4 over x minus 3 plus 6. So this is the answer. This particular reciprocal function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, or x equals h, h is 3, and it has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 6, since k is 6. Now, since the absolute value of a is greater than 1, we know that this graph is going to stretch by a factor of 4. And since a is positive, the graph is going to look like this, as opposed to looking like this. where this would be the vertical asymptote. Now sometimes it might be good to check your work to make sure you have the right answer. And what you can do is you can plug in the value of x to see if it gives you the corresponding value of y. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's plug in 1 into this equation. So y is equal to 4 over 1 minus 3 plus 6. 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So we can see that when we plug in an x value of 1, we get a y value of 4. So that's good. Now we could check the other point. Let's plug in an x value of 5. 5 minus 3 is 2, and for some reason I put an 8 here instead of a 6, so let's correct that. 4 over 2 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8, so that gives us the correct y value. So we know we have the right answer. So that's how you can check your work to make sure that you have the right function that passes through those two points.